Uh, we haven't made any decisions on that yet. Sean, how difficult is it to evaluate how well Malcolm and Jonathan are playing behind the line that really is open the whole form? Well, you know, they, they're they assigned and, you know, they're giving us, they're, they're playing good football. They're giving us their production, you know, is what, you know, you don't see because they're having to, they're having to work for their yards. And, um, you know, the, to those kids' credits, we've talked about it in here before. You know, they've been great teammates. You know, they understand, and they're just, they just keep working. They're, they're probably the most, um, you know, they, they probably give the most positive energy out there on the practice field with the offensive line. They've been, they've been outstanding teammates and really great leaders. On Saturday, Gray said it's all about, for offense, it's all about finding a rhythm, and they're mm -hmm. not in that rhythm yet. What's right. it going to take to get that? Well, it's just, you know, we've got to keep growing. That's the number one thing. You've got to keep growing. Um, you know, the rhythm comes from, you know, hitting the blocking pattern and, you know, hitting holes and, you know, creating holes, really, you know, in that aspect of it. Um, and I'm sure that's what he's talking about. It's just we have to develop this line. Everybody knows what in the situation we're in, and we have to just keep working. Sean, that being said, is there any different ways that you can get the ball in their hands? Without yeah. Moving them out from the backfield. Or? Yeah, you can get their hands, their ball, or the ball in their hands. You know, several different ways. You know, we've used a screen game to do it. Um, you know, we've used, uh, you know, s several little, you know, some sweep stuff. Um, you know, and we always do that with them. We we'll always try to find a way to get their hands on the ball different than just handing it from the traditional alignments. Sean, how how, um, how much do you gamble um, knowing knowing that that points are probably going to be a big deal this weekend, but right. more so than usual. Well, you, you know, what you got to do um, when you play a team like this, uh, you know, you, they've been obviously very productive on, on offense. And, you know, you got to help your defense. And helping your defense, I think in this game, we've got to be, we've got to be great on first, first down, normal down, because uh, that's when, you know, uh, their defense plays best is when you're, when they're ahead of the sticks. So, you know, you've got to collect, uh, you got to collect your yards on first down. That's a key. I think that's a key to the game. And then we got to have obviously a really good third down plan because they're good at third down defense. As a whole, how is their defense? I feel like everybody kind of overlooks them because of the yeah. offense. Yeah, they probably. I, I'm sure that uh, you know I don't you know get a chance to see much media you know what people are saying, but I can tell you their defense is very good. Um, you know, I don't, I've known Phil for a long time. He's done a he's done a great job at developing that defense over the years he's been there. Um, I think um, you know last year they obviously were much 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 improved. Had some really good football players, and you know they were able to. I think what happens to a program when you get players who have been developing the system when you get younger players behind them who see how well you know see how to play. When those older players do leave, like they had a good handful of leave, the younger players knew how to step in and play. They had good examples in front of them, and the scheme's been taught over a number of years now. And, you know, they're playing really good team defense. They do a nice job. You know, their scheme is is a they do a nice job with it. They just you know they they hem up the field and they play good pursuit football. Sean, uh, one thing that Iowa State did have success with is running the ball with their quarterback. Is that mm -hmm. an area for Tyrone that is still? Developing are there things that you've seen with him in practice? That yeah. Seen in games well, we we always have a certain amount of read game in, you know, and we've up the uh, we've up the ante each and every week. Um, you know, we'll continue to you know we'll continue to develop him in that aspect. Um, you know, some of that is you know just you know initially in the beginning, very little, and more and more each week that we've gone on, we have a number of decides you know that are are made our run pass options that he. You know that he has, and then we have run-run options that he has. The, the option, the, the speed option, look less than great against Kansas. Is that something? Uh, that you know, th well, that's it. Goes back to you know Ty's development with it. You know, Ty. You know, he's got to learn to reel in the pitch keys and you know get in get in their face. And you know, he's uh, you know typical first time probably you know doing it with live bullets. You know, practice is one thing, games another. Um, you know, those are all areas that I would expect him. I know he'll improve on because he, you're right. He, uh, he he pitched the ball at times with too much air in the pitch, and um, you know when that happens, you know the defense is back in. You know that, that ruins the uh, element of the option. So um, you know he'll learn from that. He had one that was a, a blocking pattern that was uh, there was an MA on. Uh, that's not his fault. You know, so he. Uh, 
you know, he's, he's got to do his part in, in learning how to execute the option better. One thing about the, these five linemen, you know, we, mm -hmm. we, have, you know, we have talked to the line. How would you describe them as people? I mean, who, who are these guys? They're great guys. You know, they're, uh, you know, they're, you know, starting with, uh, you know, uh, Hutch. You know, Hutch is, Hutch has been a guy that, um, you know, we went to uh, back in the summer and made ask him before camp to make a move over to the offensive line to help us with depth. And he started out as a guard, as a backup guard, and he's moved to the starting tackle. You know, so he's he's been a servant for our team. You know, he's done whatever's been asked of him. And I know he started his career here as a, uh, as an offensive lineman, obviously went to defense, and that made the transition for him probably a little bit easier, but still a tough transition. You go from, uh, you know, uh, having to learn to use your hands and your feet in a different, totally different manner. Uh, so he has been, you know, he has given us everything. I, I, I love him to death. I really appreciate what he's done, and our kids all respect him and appreciate what he's done. Um, you know, Ced has, uh, you know, I've said it before, Cedric is, uh, Cedric is uh, a thump for us. I mean, he's, uh, he's got great leadership. He's a guy, he's, one of the, he's the one guy that's got experience. He's done a really nice job with the younger players and leading them and teaching them, um, you know, helping them to understand and how important communication is and, and developing that communication with them. Uh, Jake, um, Jake, you know, Jake is Jake will have a day here. He every week he continues to get better. Uh, he's been thrown into a situation where, as a younger player, it's like playing. It's like honestly, it's like starting a freshman quarterback or a redshirt freshman. Uh, there's so many things in his world that are so much like a quarterback and ident identifying the front and getting the uh, blocking patterns uh, laid up front with the uh, with the uh, mic IDs and you know so he's he's uh, he's a work in progress and has put in extra time uh, to to learn and to get better at at his work and takes it very personal. That's why he'll be a that's why he'll be a really good player. Um, you know we've had you know the. Uh, uh, you know the probably you know big perk uh he's played both positions um you know both uh, the guard position he's played the uh tackle position his natural position is guard so you know he's uh, he's come from you know really inside where I, he was really playing well for us early in training camp had to move him outside so he had to go through a transition there get a whole new set of calls a whole new combination with tight ends or on the split side surface but he's been a hard worker um, and then uh, Taylor. Taylor, yeah, Taylor. Taylor Doyle's done a, he's done a nice job for us. I mean, he's, uh, you know, he was competing as a backup, and uh, he's become a starter. And you know, he's uh, he's like Jake. You know, he's 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 a real hard worker, and he's helps trigger those calls with he and Cedric inside with Jake. Um, and he's he's been working hard. You know, the learning process has been a big part of his development. For you know, for Tyrone's development, mm -hmm. I'm guessing he's not really at the phase where you can ask him to uh, get you into the right play and make checks and a lot. No, of he kind of stuff, he does right? that. No, he, he does that, that for us. Yeah. That yes, I have. You know, we keep it. You know, we keep it simple. You know, our our system of those those types of triggers are pretty easy for a quarterback. But yet, at the same time, you know, he's got to be able to adjust on the move, and that's not the easy part. And that's been his development. Uh, it's easy when it's static, you know, and you, you know, at the line of scrimmage initially, but when it changes during a cadence, you know, not coming unraveled, staying poised and getting the communication laid, um, you know, which is what he's gotten better at. You know, he's, you know, I, I was just walking over with John from practice and, you know, he's, he had a great day of practice today. And I, I'm just every week I'm amazed at, you know, how much more he's taken on from what we, he just learned. And, you know, I've, you know, I've used, uh, you know, players in my past as, you know, guys that, you know, here's how you do it. You know, here's the experience they had. Here's what they did with it. Here's how we managed it. Here's how we got through it. And, you know, he's taken that to heart. You know, he's, um, he had, you know, he's, he's had a, a really, it's fun coaching him. I, I, I love coming to work. I do. Because he's, that kid is, he's, he's putting everything into be, becoming a, a, a good football player. What do you like about Alain Foreman and how much can we maybe uh, he's he's a big thumper, you know. He's a big back. I like the you know I like uh, I like the fact that he's got size and he's got speed with his size and he's got athletic feet. Uh, he runs behind his pads really well. 
Uh, he's been, you know, he got a late start with us, and we've been catching him up. Uh, T. Rob is, uh, you know, every one of us have somebody that we're we're, we're working hard to get caught up, and that's T. Rob's, uh, and he's right now in that three position where he'd be the third back. What about our line? Um, yeah, he's really done. I tell you what, he, you know, he's really practicing well. He's had two good weeks of practice. I'm going to go back to last week. He had a really good day today. He's got to finish this week. But I love uh, the thing I like about him. He reminds me of a kid, uh, some of the kids we had there at Louisville. Um, he's got a lot of spirit. He's a tough guy. He loves to compete and he loves to play. Um, he's got a really unique skill set. He's got speed like DeJay has. And um, you know now that as we teach him, as he grows, we can use more and more of him. Um, his biggest thing, like all the freshmen, was becoming assignment sound. Against, against Baylor's defense, how much do you maybe have to game plan around open the defensive end six foot nine? Oh, you know, I tell you what, um, you know, you, you have to know, you know, you have to know where he's at. You know, and you've got to understand what he does well, and then. You know how to combat that. You know we you, you have to account for him. He's a really good football player. He's got great length and he uses his length well. Is Big Mal begging for some carries? Who's that? Used oh, Malcolm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told him not yet. Uh, he's no. He's doing. You know. He's. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna continue to use him. And that's. You know. Those kind of sets. You know. He's. Uh, he, he came. Uh, I was messing with him back during training camp. And he's uh, he hasn't let off of me since. And now he's he worked coach strong. And then Charlie, you know, I said, watch, well, let's let's find a little something for him, a little work for him in there. So we're well. I told him whenever he he gets a sign with his run blocking, then we'll think about giving him the ball. Sean, if, uh, <laughs> if Tyrone's helmet comes off and he has to come out for a point, who goes? Who goes in? You know, we you know in that situation we'd probably put um, Logan in. You know, because you don't want to burn a redshirt year. Uh, with uh, Gerard, you got to protect him a little bit. He, you know, if it were an injury, you know that, you know, then Gerard would play. I'm sure it's kind of a, a fine line of how serious the injury has to be. Right. Yeah, you got to manage. You, that's, but that's easy. That's why you know you got a good medical staff. They tell you what's going on, and you know you try to, you, know, you just try to manage that situation where you keep the future, you know, for, of a player in in mind, and the, you know, for the program. Sean, going back to Tyrone's development, as far as He's told us he's an elite by example kind of guy. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see him finding his voice? Yeah, he's going to have to, you know, that's one of the things that I continue to work with him on. I think here's what's happening, though. His teammates have a lot of trust in him, and they really respect the work he's putting on the field. He's, he's impressive uh, with what he's, what he's doing in practice and, and the way he's managed himself in games. Uh, and he's, gaining their, he's gained their trust and their respect. And now it's time for him to, you know, really live his conviction, you know. And, and that's one of the things that, you know, that I, that's where I've got to step in and help him and, you know, teach him how to do that. Just it's a natural process. Be who you are uh, and let what's inside you out. When you put a lot into it, it should be easy to let it out. So, you know, my whole purpose with him is to get him to put a lot into it, take pride in what he's put into it, and then let his conviction out. Does he get fired up? Ty? Uh, yeah, in a positive way. Yeah, he's no different than, than five. You know, Teddy was the same kind of guy. You know, I mean, his uh, his example of leadership is uh, you know by his product, you know, by his production, and he's uh, you know he's uh, he's a guy that uh, is you know he'll he gets behind you know somebody drops a ball you know he'll he'll be you'll see him over there talking to him. Um, he you know fired up. You know, he, he gets excited in a positive way. You know, I mean, he's not out of control. I mean, I think you want your quarterback to have poise, but have emotion, and he shows that. You know, he shows that. Sean, did you ask one? It, it, it's been a few years since you coached in this conference, mm -hmm. but is it, it is, a, is it a stretch to think that, you know, because you know Phil, mm -hmm. uh, that, that there is some advantage to having gone through this before? Uh, in terms Just of in the, in the Big Twelve, you know, you've been here before. In the Big Twelve conference, you know the stadiums, you know the teams, you know some. Of the well, you know the stadiums, but the you know everything's changed a lot. You know the football's changed since I was in the league. It's changed a lot. You know, um, it's it's changed a whole lot. You know, it's uh, it's different. You know, everybody's you know like you know it's playing the speed. The defenses are really kind of all the it's similar type packages, not the same, but similar. Uh, so there's. Um, you know, it's it's interesting to see how you know it's evolved.
Coach, as, you, as you're trying to prepare each week, can you mm -hmm. just talk about the challenge we have in an experienced offensive line, a young mm -hmm. quarterback, you don't have your playmaker in DJ. How challenging is that to really develop Very. a game? <laughs> it's, a, but, you know, it's, it's a challenge, but that's what we're hard on to do. You know, I mean, we, um, you know, you have to, you have to, you know, use all your resources uh, that you have available and be creative of what you got. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a challenge. You know, we've had, uh, you know, we've we've had to play to what we can do. You know, because we're really, you know, initially we're, you know, we're working Ty. I think I've got Ty to a point where, you know, he's his decision making's been on. Um, you know, he understands. He's had enough reps at what we do. I chart everything he does. I know how many exactly how many reps he's taken on every pass, every throw that we've made. And I see his growth. I, his grades have grade him every day. His grades have continued to grow. So he's allowed us to get to to push forward, and then you know use some of those other pieces. And then we're and then developing you know guys like Armani, and we've got to develop him. We've got to develop. Uh, you know, not only develop but also develop roles for him. Develop roles for. Um, you know, Lorenzo Joe is another guy. Um, our tight ends, you know, are back. You know, we're using them in the run game. You know, we're using them in different things formationally. So, you know, it takes all hands on deck, all of us, you know, every guy on the staff. You know, we've, uh, you know, we put, put a lot into, you know, each week trying to move, you know, moving us forward because we've changed our entire personality. As we had to. Well, how much teaching can you do within, you know, a few days before, you know, game each game? Well, that's why you stay. What you do is you stay, you know, conceptually in terms of uh, what you do with your run. You know, your run game pretty much stays to three base concepts. But it's how you present it, and then what you do with it. You know, adding a read aspect, the decision aspect, uh, putting, a, you know, putting reverses in off of it or sweeps in off of it. Same type of blocking, but just different. You know different triggers, so that's you know that's the charge that we have to every week that we we address.